Today on Harry Potter, as we complete the Lapa Force and Draconic Force challenge and learn a new spell to protect ourselves. So we're back, um, somewhere in the Draconic Force and Lapa Force challenge. Um, our, I don't know, somewhere at the end, I think. I have no idea where I am, or what I'm doing, or this. Granger. Damn it! You've completed the challenge. Damn it! I didn't want to do that. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means just... I get to go to the bean bonus room. All right, no Fantastic! Way. I'm just gonna pick the two up later on before finishing. Wow! Ooh, there's pumpkin this beans. is the bean bonus room. Correct, Hermione. And collect as many goodies as you can as well. before the time Very runs good. out. says I don't have enough money to pass this position. I am going to kill this thing. Come on, we can get to a thousand! Oh, yeah. I can pass these. Oh, yeah. All right, we did it. Hermione, there you are. Hermione, there you How are. was it? Excellent. I can turn things into dragons now. Wicked. Yeah. You mean the flying, roaring, burn down the village sort of dragon? Nope. Um... No, it's just a very small transfigured dragon. It's something. Oh, give it credit for shame. that. 
You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. Or we can come back and do it another time. I will have another go. Um... Deposito! Deposito! Do you want to replay the carpet and track them challenge, Ron? Looks like this challenge is not Fancy another guy at the Draconic Wars Lapaforce challenge. What? Quidditch? Nice. Even though the following morning was stormy and fun, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. Played brilliantly. Until something changed, and the Fire Nation at the moment. Oh, Wrong movie. Dementors! Trying to cast spells in anything that looks interesting, seriously. Harry came away from the fall without injury, but he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. Oh yeah. He asked Lupin about Sirius <coughs> Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We'd better get on with your anti-dementor lessons, Harry. All right. Now, we obviously can't bring a real dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with a boggart. The boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target, then Hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. Very You'll well. see a ring of light. Move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Start moving, start moving. Expecto Patronum! Excellent cast, Harry. Two more like that and you're ready to move on. That's it, Harry. Just one more. Fantastic. Three perfect cards, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. All right. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronus charm on a bucket. Boggart appears. Or three of them for that matter. Oh, a Dementor! No, Harry, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expect an explosion! case Boggart. The creature's presence will likely keep you moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. Temporarily. Perfect to come to before the spell has time to wear off to defeat the creatures. What? I cast it! Expect an explosion! Expect an explosion! Good! I, I did it! Oh, no, 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 no. It would seem you've mastered the spell. 
brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. You did brilliantly. Thank you, I Professor know, Lupin. Awesome. After the anti-Dementor lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. It was. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat hair! Orange! Oh my cat god! Hair. You're not suggesting Crookshanks! Oh no, no, of course not. I just heard! They're going to execute Bugbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There yeah. must be something we can do. An appeal. An appeal, that's it. I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. All right, so I guess I wonder where be... Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's yep, got her too. Um... I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff yeah. baiting. Yeah, so don't forget to it's like and subscribe, guys. Comment in the it in that legal section over there, the but it's locked one. up. As soon as the There must be out. some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? 